Hey everybody, this is Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff, and this is the Mario Red and Blue Edition Nintendo Switch. You guys knew that I was going to have to get one of these and check it out. New color scheme, this is the first time we're seeing a body that is a different color than the standard dark grayish that it comes in. So I want to open it up, take a look at the color scheme, and then also compare it to some other red systems that I have, or other red Joy-Con that I have, just to get a real idea of what color these truly are. So let's get into it. Okay, so looking at the box, you can see it's just very plain. Red looks pretty much like what we have now with the Switch boxes. But it's nice on the back. You can see that we've got the new Joy-Con there. Pull the pull tab up, flip it around. It's a pretty hefty set. All right. So immediately we are met with the console and also the Joy-Con. Let's get everything out of the box that is of interest and get this giant box out of the way. All right. Deedly, deedly, deedly. Second tier. Here's a case. Looks like they give you a screen protector. Third tier. Joy-Con strap. Other Joy-Con strap. Joy-Con grip. We'll just leave the cables and stuff, but let's go ahead and grab the dock. And now we can get rid of this huge box. All right, so I've pretty much unpacked everything here. We've got the case to start off with, which looks very similar, at least in function, to the Mario Odyssey edition that came out with the Mario Odyssey Switch. I'm noticing that the Mario Odyssey Switch case is a more true red, where this one has more of an orangey appearance to it. But I do like that blue trim. So this is a really nice looking case with some thought put into it. I really like these yellow accents. I think most people will be quite happy with this. Let's put this aside. Here's the dock here, the Joy-Con grip. Let's go ahead and grab the Joy-Con out. And also the Switch. So the first thing that surprises me is that this kickstand is not red like the rest of it. It's, it's black. So that's a really nice matte feel and finish to it. And then taking a look at the front there, you can see that is indeed all red. Now I took these Mario Odyssey Joy-Con apart, but these are the real OEM shells. What immediately strikes me about the red that we have with this new Switch here is that it's a very muted red by comparison, a very matte and muted looking red. So these guys from the Mario Odyssey Switch are really quite rich looking and more shiny. Not as vibrant as I had thought or hoped. And now this may not really show up well on camera, but we've got the neon red here and also these new red Joy-Con. These are a very different kind of red. So you can see them all side by side here. This is the neon, this is the Mario Odyssey, and the new one. I think my favorite red is probably still this highlighter, really nice neon red. But no matter, let's go ahead and pop these Joy-Con and see what this looks like all together as a set. There you go. And you can see what this looks like all together, pointing out that the Switch logo here is white on the back. So that's a nice contrast. I kind of wish, like with the Switch Lite, this was also red. I can't really describe this, but this just kind of looks a little bit odd with this red border. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'd have to say when looking at these two here, I very much still prefer having this nice dark gray border instead of having this red here. I really do wish that Nintendo would have just had this be a normal looking switch here on the front and then when you turn it over to really have it be Mario themed. Really hit home with that theme there. It feels just a little bit lazy. And so looking at the Animal Crossing back cover here, I know this is really nothing special, but I really love this little Animal Crossing theme. Where we've got all these little areas where clearly this is, this is Animal Crossing without a doubt. I don't know, maybe having Mario's face here, maybe a star man or a mushroom or something to make it look more Mario themed. I am curious though, let's go ahead and grab these Joy-Con and put these on a regular switch. I think that looks nicer instead of having that red frame. But that's all going to be up to taste. Ah, before we forget, let's go ahead and look at these Joy-Con strap. I have to say these are quite cute. These I like. I like these a lot. The lanyard braids that we have here and the yellow accents, the white we have here, this looks like more thought was put into it. Yeah, that also is quite nice as a combination. Nintendo, what is up with you? This is really, really cute. This makes good sense, but this kind of feels a bit lazy to me. You can take a better look around it though. You can see that everything is red on this system. I'd be curious to take this apart and see how much of this is painted. So it makes me wonder how it's going to age, if it's going to wear or chip. My bet is that it's a muted red plastic as well, but there's probably a finish on top of it. 
Let's see what this looks like with this blue. It's a nice combination with this blue and this red. Although if we were to have a richer red, how would that look? Hmm, considering the blue that they have here, I think they did a pretty good job picking the red. These complement well. And if you are at all curious what this highlighter blue looks like in this Mario blue, there you are. Let's go ahead and grab the neon red as well. Just something to look at. I think that my favorite red system that Nintendo ever released was for the 2DS XL, this Pokeball version. Looking at that red inside, this is like a nice Ferrari looking Pokeball red. This is what I think of red when I look at red. Everything else here pales. But yeah, this is my ultimate favorite red system. So that can give you an idea. Muted red, vibrant red. Let me know what you guys think. Just for good measure now, let's go ahead and place this guy in the dock. I think it's, it's pretty well color matched here. But this is what this set looks like all together. Pretty good looking, but not quite there for me. Now, I may be overly picky, but I did start designing some systems of my own. You'll have to let me know if you want to see a video of how I did these. These are Switch lights that I themed out in Animal Crossing style because Nintendo decided they didn't want to make one. So I've got the Switch light white and also the Switch light dark gray for Animal Crossing. And you can see we've got the blue, the green, these joysticks that look like little leaves, corresponding LR and ZR buttons. Yeah, so this was just me having a bit of fun. How would I have designed this myself? Definitely normal black front here. And then I would have had all kinds of cute little nods to Mario, kind of like how they had with their case. Like so. Or a big fat Mario face or, or something. So I'm going to take this and play with this and hopefully I'll learn to love this and maybe I'll learn to love this color scheme. I really just thought it would be more red. And then of course you've heard my complaints about lazy theming. Anywho, so this has been Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys went out and bought this Nintendo Switch and what you think of it. And have a good day, you guys. Bye!